BIRCH stands for Building Interdisciplinary Research Careers in Women's Health. It's an NIH-funded program that allows scholars to have more research time and funding. I am a medical sociologist by training. I'm interested in why women who are middle-aged and older sleep less than the general population. I was specifically interested in Appalachian women because they have some of the highest rates of insomnia in the nation. I want to do an intervention and I want to focus on sleep and I want to use cognitive behavioral therapy, but none of those are things that I'm necessarily expert in. And what Birch does is it says, you know, no problem, we'll hook you up with the right people. We'll provide you with mentorship, we'll provide you with colleagues who can help you with those other areas of expertise. My area of research is uh, medication use and long-term effects of potentially inappropriate medication use in older adults, and also designing and implementing intervention to address these potential effects by deprescribing inappropriate medications. I'm a clinical psychologist by training. I primarily focus on understanding the impact of traumatic events for uh, both women who've experienced interpersonal trauma and also for veterans. And my expertise in psychology aligned very well with Maureen Maloney, who works in sociology, and then also with Daniela Moga, who is in pharmacy. And so it was a, an obvious collaboration for the three of us to come together on this project. And it's been a wonderful experience, both for the project, but also just thinking about connecting with other researchers on campus who have shared interests in women's health. We use SHUTEYE, which stands for Sleep Healthy Using the Internet. It's an internet-based version of cognitive behavioral therapy for insomnia. We loved it because in Appalachia, healthcare shortage is rampant. It's tough for women to get to a doctor. There's transportation issues. So we wanted to have something that women could just access on their phones or on their computers that would teach them better sleep habits and help them reframe their thoughts around sleep as well. One of the biggest issues for people in Appalachia is that many people who are struggling don't actually receive the care that they need. The real implications of this study is if we can find benefits by helping people access online in their own homes the care that they would otherwise have to go to the doctor for, this really might improve the kinds of options that people have. We had 38 women complete the program. Not only did it improve significantly their insomnia severity and improve their sleep quality, it also reduced their depression symptoms and reduced their sleep medication use. It also reduced their perceived stress. And all, we were thrilled that it not only improved their sleep, but all of these other excellent measures of their health and well-being. Our plan for 2020 is to scale up our intervention and recruit a much larger sample of women in Appalachia. Mairead, Crystal, and myself, we all met through Birch. We were able to, to launch this idea and put together the research proposal through another wonderful initiative here on campus, the Ignited Research Collaboration. And I am very excited about our continued collaboration in going further and designing and, and applying for more funding to conduct uh, important work that will benefit women and men in Appalachia and throughout the state of Kentucky. Meeting Dr. Vador and Dr. Moga in the Birch program and socializing but also giving each other peer feedback on our, our projects in, in progress, you're able to really form these connections that I think would otherwise be difficult to make on a large campus. The Birch has been a tremendously positive experience and I would encourage any junior faculty at UK who have interest in women's health research to consider it, both from supporting the research but also making incredible collaborations going forward.